உச்சாமாரம் உச்சாமான சந்தோஷமாகறம் இப்படியான மனநிலைமையில இருந்த எங்களுந்த சாதிக்கிற வெள்ளமே இப்படி இருக்கும் கூட கூட நாங்க ஒண்ணா இருந்த அவ்வளவு தூரம் சாதிச்சாங்க இன்னைக்கு நாங்க எல்லாம் பிரிஞ்சி இருந்து தனித்தனியே இருந்து யோசிச்சு கொண்டு இருக்கோம் அதான் உண்மை இல்லையா This is the northern city of Jaffna and we are on the hospital road. This ancient city of Sri Lanka is historic and has within a rich cultural heritage. As a region that was devastated by the 30-year-old civil war, its people, although physically and mentally scarred, are now on the road to recovery. The teaching hospital Jaffna is where we are headed and to the oncological unit. According to World Health Organization analysis, cancer incident rates are going up. Cancer is going to be the most common cause of death. In the same manner, Sri Lanka also faces the cancer as the most common cause of mortality among men and women. According to the Sri Lankan statistics, the most common cause of cancer incident is breast cancer and if we take the male population only that will be the oropharyngeal and esophageal cancer in our health setup we don't have a proper mechanism to identify the people early and to screen the population so we are in a position to establish early detection of cancer cases and also the screen the population for this the northern province health system planning to establish a program which will be supported by various organization that includes the cancer aid for north and east and jaffna medical faculty overseas alumni canada and cancer care manitoba canada as a part of this program we have established a community visit to one of the village situated in northern province jaffna district it's called puttur we have started a community based program to bring the people to a community center and we did the health education and we have done a initial screening of population for breast and oral cancer this program will be followed up in this village for next 6 month cancer educators will be visiting to this village regularly and they will bring the population for the screening and for the further follow up and this will be closely monitored by cancer early detection center teaching hospital jaffna This is the nurses training school in Jaffna. What's being conducted here is a training program for cancer educators. This program is conducted in association with the provincial department of health services, the surgical oncological unit of the teaching hospital Jaffna, faculty of medicine Jaffna, cancer aid for north east. Jaffna Medical Faculty Overseas Alumni Canada and OMF Jaffna Teaching Hospital The spread of cancer is on the rise in Jaffna The lack of awareness among the general public is a major factor in patients being identified Although campaigns have been done in the past they seem not to have had the desired effect 
The stakeholders involved are attempting to address this dilemma with a new and innovative approach. Hi, I'm Sri Navratna. I'm a trained medical oncologist and also a cancer researcher. Currently, I am president and CEO of Cancer Care Manitoba, which is a cancer agency responsible for cancer control for the province in Canada. And I'm also professor of internal medicine at the University of Manitoba. It is my honor to be the strategic advisor for the Northern Province, Sri Lanka, when it comes to cancer control. So I have been working collaboratively with them for the past few years. The cancer educators seen here are experiencing something entirely different. In their own words, something very unique and interesting. The approach here uses applied theatre as a key tool for them to gain confidence. A safe space is provided for them to reinvent themselves and reignite their childlike spark. To express themselves freely. The underlying belief is that this will effectively help them approach reluctant communities with ease, extract vital information and facilitate necessary treatment. The pare, as it is called in Tamil, is a percussion instrument that's been part and parcel of the cultural heritage of the region. It's used in rituals, both happy and sad. During ancient times, the Tamils had a dedicated space away from their dwelling area for people of the village to go and express themselves, to take part in rituals and for healing. They returned home rejuvenated. By using the pare and by providing that safe space, we are attempting to recreate this environment and use it to our advantage. We are in a process of making an effective tool for health awareness. The cancer educators are seen here at the cultural center of the Theatre Action Group Jaffna, a place that's surrounded by nature and one that within its premises retains key facets of the rich cultural heritage of the land. This again frees the participants from inhibitions and allows them to express freely. The team is here at the introductory meeting with the Tamil Aliyam Community Centre, Putur, the Jaffna District's village cluster, which is one of five village clusters selected for the project. The rest are from different districts within the province. The Tamil Aliyam Community Centre has been selected based on their active involvement and willingness to increase cancer-related awareness. With the able assistance of the Tamil Aliyam Community Centre, representatives of the Putur village are gathered here. With a few catchy folk songs and some dancing, the ice is broken and the village representatives start to enjoy themselves. <laughs> This lady here says that they came in as individuals 
and the reason for their renewed enthusiasm was the friendly environment that has been created. In the Sulal Urwakitara, Ungalter and the Verde, the Sulalam, Ningalam, Unanjidan, in the Uchata, Kunduaring, Uchamaraka Purike, Sandosamar, Salam Adibat Sara and the Sandosamar, 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 Simbala, Lea, Simbis, Eddie the Sandos Ungalta than even the very meaning hundred years. Over the Kamanaka, over Mari, and the Kaminga Vera from broadcasting on the radio to printing posters, there have been efforts before too from the medical community to disseminate information regarding cancer and other critical illnesses. But the results were far less convincing in comparison to those obtained by the use of applied theatre and music. This nurse is absolutely delighted with the new experience. She says, so far we have only been treating patients who come to the teaching hospital in Jaffna. This is a unique experience where we actually travel to where the patients live. From each interacting group, a village representative and an activist were requested to come forward and present a summary of the discussion. Most village representatives felt that it was their fear of stigma that stopped them. They also said that this was the first time a team of doctors, educators and activists had reached out to them. In comparison to hospital environment, it was easier for them to express and share their fears. Now they were much more confident to walk into a hospital for treatment. Our objective is to work with each village for a period of six months with clear goals. We'll be working in unison with the assistance of a village group selected from within your community. Like the five member group we were appointed today. From our end, within these six months, periodically, qualified nurses and trained cancer educators will be visiting your village for assistance. There are five community centers here in Puttur and today we have representatives from all five participating here. It's an inclusive and a very successful event. In the Nal, Engal Kiramatin or Varalati, Serapamika or Nal, Unmaile. This day is historic for our village. The actual reason for sadness and death, I believe, is ignorance. Today, a seed has been planted to make our lives easier. If we increase our knowledge, much pain can be avoided. Another very important fact that I need to state today is that this is the first time doctors have reached out to us. The first time a hospital has come to our doorstep. Otherwise, it's always us who had to go to the hospital. This gives us a new level of confidence and this is a boon to all of us. And it's my honor and I'm very enthusiastic and excited about this project. I hope this innovative approach is adaptable in other countries as well. So thank you. Yeah,
Gram, Puttur and Gram. This is a lady from Puttur who was part of the awareness meeting. After the meeting, she says that she confidently walked into the hospital to treat an abdominal mass that has been there for a long time. Now she has been successfully operated on, the mass removed and on the road to complete recovery. Okay.